representing a Manchu bannerman. 1600s all the way to the 1700s. This ethnic group from Northeast China rained havoc upon the Chinese. They finally took them over in 1644 using their composite bow. Our friend Ryan, the Ottoman, he had a smaller bow. Turks view of emphasizing speed and long distance. The Manchus may emphasize close range power. He has a shorter bow, 28 inch draw. I like to use a 36 inch draw. We would ride our horses. We would get in 30 meters of you. You might be wearing armor. But I'll be shooting my very heavy arrows at you, about 1,200 grains, almost spear-like. People came from a cold place, so they had a simple long road like this. This hat, no one, not just anyone could wear it. We had to have some sort of uh, earned merit from the emperor to have this type of hat. There's a jewel on top of your head. And the poo, that was actually given to you by your Khan, later the Emperor. A simple belt, my quiver to hold arrows. They were usually 36 inches, but they can be up to 40 inches. My saber here, and my uh, bow quiver here. This is simple field equipment. Not fancy court stuff. And lastly, I have my thumb ring. It's made of moose uh, horn. A functional piece of equipment used to draw my bow, but later it was made of jade to represent status. And that's about it. Anyone have questions? I believe sometimes they did have the Mongols were known to wear silk underneath to actually catch arrows uh, so they could pull cleanly out. I don't know if the Manchus did, they might have because they have a similar nomadic heritage. Anyone else? Thank you, awesome. thank you very much. between two dogs.